I'm Heather Spears with GamersList.com, and I'm here with uh, Claudia Black, nominated for Best Female Performance uh, for Uncharted 3. Um, I love you in the Uncharted series, and I even love you more in um, Stargate. And I was wondering, um, what is your greatest accomplishment to date in your mind? I think now I'm very, I'm a mother, so every project that I work on is like, you know, giving birth to another child, so I'm deeply proud of all of my projects. And I'll only ever take on a project that I believe in that's, you know, interesting to me and allows me to explore different sides of myself or of being a woman or being a human and or an alien. Um, but to think about humanity from a different perspective, and that's what I love about science fiction. And it's a very important time for female performers because there's been a lot of great stories for women to tell. And... Uh, yeah, I just, I mean, Uncharted has been an amazing franchise to be a part of because Amy Hennig is a female writer and to play a female that's been so beautifully, you know, worked on and fleshed out by a female writer and for them to cast a group of people, it was so important to them to hire an ensemble of actors that would work together as a really tight ensemble because we'd be working together for so long. I've now walked away from that job with friends for life and it was such a joyous environment and they actually, it's like they crawled inside an actor's mind and said, what experience can we provide and create for actors that can be, you know, the ultimate experience for them? And they provided that because it gives the best results as far as they're concerned and we agree wholeheartedly so the playfulness the joy the spontaneity the great chemistry that Nolan and I had I've always had I'm so lucky I've had amazing chemistry just working joyful chemistry with all my leading men and so I walk away from all of those projects just so deeply grateful because that connection informs my work and allows me to just be really free with it so I heard you were working on Mass Effect 3. Do you have a favorite feature that you can tell us about from there? Um, a little sort of cameo, really, just sort of reprising, uh, you know, a couple of, of roles from, from ME2. I also was involved with Kingdoms of Amalur this year, which comes out in February, and I'm very excited to see people's response to that game because as far as I'm concerned, I mean, I'm not an, an RPG player, but... I'm so excited by the medium now because of the amount of detail and attention and love that is going into these games and the invitation to develop, you know, tangentially so many facets of the hero that you embody as you play these games and the detail that comes from it being developed from a book or, or someone else's work. There's just such fundamentally interesting layers to these projects now and, and that's hard to beat. In the film world, they're going to have to really find ways to to bring people back to regular theatres because the gaming experience now is so individualised, so personal and unique because you get to be totally connected and inside the experience. And, that you know, people say, when I was playing Uncharted, you know, Nathan Drake said exactly what I was saying on my own in my room and people feel a deeper connection to these characters in the games than they're feeling to characters in, in, in regular feature films. So it's very exciting for me to be part of games right now. Thank you for your time and good luck out there.